Hello everybody, I'm Ronnie here with Clive, our STL expert freak. And um, we are back because we are just on the verge of month three. Whee! So we're on the, well, the month three is about to go up. Tell me it's on the first of the month, I think. It is, the first of July. So it feels a bit rushed because we've only had a week of the first month uh, or something like that. But anyway, yeah. so month three is going up and we did have some feedback in the first five, six, seven weeks we've been going. And I think we should just say that we've addressed, we've tried to think about those. Yes, it's been a I lot. Think the first one was a, a merchant's option. There was. And um, what do we do about that, Clive? We made a merchant's option. There we are, you say we do. Yeah. And I think that just means if you've got a bricks and mortar store, yes. they can take out a merchant's option. If, if you don't have access to a 3D printer, but you want 73 of that ship, yeah. you can go in and, and, and work out a deal and kind of deal with him and we're more than happy for those exactly. people to print. So in, in the UK, we've got two stores already signed up and there's another four stores in the US currently going through the approval process. Great. So I think we're doing that with bricks and mortar at this point. We are. Maybe we'll try and look at other options later, but right now it's all about supporting our bricks and mortar it retailers is, yeah. to work and, uh, and getting that, which is good. I think the other story that was a big story and people wanted, uh, and I know we talked long and hard before we launched about pre-supports or not pre-supports, and that's we went with clean, so you can support yourselves, but there is quite a lot of novices out there. And uh, so we heard loud and clear, clear people wanted pre-supports. Yes. So just talk us through that process and, and where, um, where we ended up in terms of, you know, which rig you set it up with. In short, we just brought that forward and we now have someone that's doing all of our supports for us, making it look brilliant. Prints coming off the bed really nicely. So now everything should be up to date now on the vault. So you can download everything as a raw STL or as a pre-supported file. Right. And they were. So it's not an out. We didn't, we didn't printed. stop doing the, the, the raw. We went, no, if no. you really want to do your own thing and know what you're doing, here yeah. it is. And if you've got an 8K rig or even a 2K rig, sometimes you need that. Uh, Just a tweak. You yeah. can do that yourself with your own supports. Fine, and people know it. And then, yeah. but, but for the majority of people, the majority of the time, we put the pre supports in. We do, you know, it does come with a caveat. They're all ones you can sort out yourselves, the pre supports. Yeah. They're not always going to go. You know, we know that's part of the jewel with STLs, is you're going to have misprints. But we've tried to cover it for as many rigs as, as, as the higher probability as possible. Yeah. Um, but so that's done. And so from going forward, you'll have them both pre supported or, or raw. Exactly. And nauseous. And of course, I think we said early on that we were always going to keep adding to the welcome pack as yeah. time goes by and we get cool things. What did we add? Well, we ran a special little competition, actually. Okay. Um, we, we, we kind of had 200 early bird spots left. Right. And we did a promotion over a weekend. And it was very quick. <laughs> so this is the last 200 for the early bird price. Right. And we offered up two unreleased dwarf mastiff scops oh, okay cool so something you'd be very well, very, very happy with if only had an STL. Um, they um, went very quickly um, um so they just got dropped into the welcome so, pack. so it was like when we ended the early bird we were all going to drop something into the welcome yeah. pack and now you've got dogs yeah they've been printing i've sent them on the fanatics group they look great okay so looking back we've had months one and month two and if you'd had your subscriptions you would now be able to get the reward for month three no what would you be able to do with your prints i think you've got basilean well, you've, fleets you've got a whole basilean fleet you've right. got a whole orc fleet right you've got a multitude of models for kings of war right. upgrades for your armies and this is halflings um i think rift forged orcs rift forged orcs so some of the things with those two player sets that you're starting yeah. off with uh and, and some more, yeah there is there as well. popular armies Great. And, and Dead Zone, you're going to have Vermin. Yep, there's a Vermin squad in there, which were the kind of Star is, Saga models, which you can use in Dead Zone, but obviously they're hard, hard to, to come by. Yeah, okay. You your own. So lots of very cool things. Something with Dead Zone, lots for Kings of War and chunks of Armada. I think we've yep. now started the Dwarf Fleet. Yep, you've, people okay. have had the start of that. So come in July, you'll be able to finish off those Dwarfs. Okay, so, so, so jumping on month three, coming... In days time, yeah. Uh, depends when Johnny gets his edited, but soon, very soon, uh, finish your dwarf fleet. Yes, and I think the first, the final uh, yeah. of the first wave of fleets, the Empire of Dust, come and join in. Right, so you can print your own Empire of Dust fleet now as well. So that's going to give you your finishing your third, starting your fourth. Yeah. Month after that, you'll have four fleets for, for yeah. Armada. So that really is loads of great choice. And I think when we first launched the game, we picked those four fleets because they were all quite different in play styles. They're quite iconic looking as well. They're all kind of very, very different. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, you could even mix and match them and make your own pirate fleet. Pirate so season. five fleets, technically. There we go. Okay. Um, I 
can't help but notice this big red fella over here. Yeah, this this is a product of me always having to print things really big. Okay. It doesn't come this size. Okay. But this is an This is what you can stopped. do when you have these machines. Exactly. You resize them, mirror them, do all sorts of funky things. If you see Clive at any event or online, <laughs> do ask him about his 28mm Armada boots. It's too big for this table, so I can't I can't quite fit it in here, but you know, but, um, big. when he says he likes to print things big, believe you me, he prints things big, so he actually has the boat. They're quite cool actually, but yeah. um so this happen? this one so is, is for this? overdrive. Okay. It's an unreleased model, uh, the Mecha Kaiju. And in July that'll be in the vault with right. the rules to use it in overdrive. Okay, so um, this is spawned from the Sick, twisted mind of Rob Berman, I think. Exactly. Never yes. quite got released. Just got no. somewhere bubbled along. Uh, is this the only model that's available? No, we're actually putting in three different overdrive models in there. Which okay. Were, two of them previously available in resin. Okay. Um, one well, now hard to come by, I'm guessing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. One even has dual purpose in dead zone, so Ooh. and firefight. Right. So, so you can... three uses for that model. Okay. So you can drop it into your armies and your dead zone faction. So yes. there's three models coming, and I think to celebrate. We've got a, a web store discount celebrating um, Overdrive arriving yeah. um, on um, Magic Games website. So if you want to print the models and get the game and get playing, great fun, very lighthearted, good, good, good giggle game, yeah. um, great fun, and the models can be repurposed into your dead zone and exactly. firefight battles as well. So that's exciting. It's worth noting that this one yeah. actually comes in several different options. So I've left a raw STL file right. for those who don't worry about hollowing and support and things like that. But there's also a version where it's split into two and hollowed. So okay. you'll save a lot of resin. Okay. People have asked for it. And within reason, if it's possible, it makes sense. We'll always try and do it. Um, sometimes it doesn't like to hollow out a boat like that. There really isn't any point. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too small to benefit. More, more Something like this, more. always worth it because it's quite a big chunky piece of resin in the middle. Sounds good. Okay, so there we are, another little service being provided. Yeah. And then um, I'm looking at these Night Stalker boxes. Well, yeah, true. I mean, Kings of War is a staple for us in the vault. I think, you know, if there's ever a month where there's not some Kings of War in it, I'll be surprised because yeah, okay. it's, it's the mainstay and it's a big game. Um, these two kind of represent something that I think everybody wants. But they're, they're either a pain to cast or they're in short supply. Um, so I decided, I think, we want some Night Stalkers in the vault. It coincides with the new starter set that's coming. Yep, We've so had the Ambush sets. Yeah, so I mean, Night Stalkers got a big plastic refresh just a couple did, of months yeah. ago. Then we got rid of all the PVC, so no PVC in that army now. Exactly. And these are, so I don't know, the Soul Flares are absolutely beautiful models. Yeah. Uh, some of my favourites. Um, but I think an absolute uh, a treasure to cast. Yes. I think quite a lot of parts, and I think you need quite a chunk of them, and they're not... Uh, cheap, so it's one of those ones that if you can, if you if you average, just do the resin, we'll hand cast them for you and ship them around the world. But if you want yep. to go and get 73,000 of those in your army, well, you can always mirror them, you can slightly alter the sizes, yeah, okay, and so they look them. amazing. The, well, they are beautiful sculpts and they, they yeah. do look good. And then here we've got the uh, the Night Stalker Fiend Regiment, yes, and these again, okay, are an absolute <laughs> joy to um, <laughs> to cast, very small, very spindly, yeah. So, uh, again, an improvement where you can just go and, and print them. Well, the benefit of printing with those ones is the legs all come pre-merged with the body, so you don't have to guess where the legs go. Okay. You just stick it on the those, bed, okay. print it. Off you go. So there's another good example of where we're using the, the tech that's in the STLs to help your army building yeah. be easier and cooler and collector. Uh, still available in resin, so no one that doesn't have a printer's look, not missed anything out, but those that do can get their gaming going quicker and, and, and adding on. There's so, a couple of other bits in there for Night Stalkers as well, so there will be something added to the Welcome Pack as well. Um, and there's another little monster in there for them too. So, so, we'll so love for surprises. a nice talk, and that's both hitting the two-player set that's getting refreshed with Northern Alliance. Yeah, there? all new plastics take out the PVCs. So you've got Night Stalkers versus Northern Alliance. That's going to support that. And it's also obviously a couple of months after the big Night Stalker release. So if you've got your army and you're going yeah. at it, you can add, finish, develop, and um, and get your game ready for our big. Night Stalker versus Northern Alliance led campaign at the end of the year. So get sculpting, get gaming, get on the companion build some army lists. So this is like part one of that starter set expansion upgrade. Yeah, so. and, and you know, 
please do join us. We're going to be having the you know the STLs has opened up loads of new people that know played Mantic. I think a lot have come in through Armada, but you know come along and join us, Kings of War. We've got a slow grow summer. Where we're going to be helping you get your army from plastic sprue or indeed three D print through to on your bases, glued and and on a gaming table with some step by step learning how to play. Uh, doing that with um, Blackjack Legacy and there's there's a uh, slow growing Oz right now and Counter Charge so lots of that culminating a big global campaign in September so plenty going on for Kings of War please come join us so we should have something really big for September shouldn't we we probably should ah forget about it and finally this is our third pack it is and I think we said at three, six, and twelve months we would be yeah. giving you a little a gift, a little a gift, you. a thank you for thingy. So when yeah. you've got three packs in your subs, in your vault. So yeah. even if you missed the first month, you can go and retro buy it, and yeah. therefore I've got three. Yeah, I'm qualified. Okay. Um, and what do you get in your reward pack? So the first reward pack is actually a sprue accessory pack, or. Yeah. Pets pack, if you like. Pets! So it's got all the little kind of cool add-ons we put on sprues, like, you know, snow foxes and, and little cats and, you know. Okay, so if you need something for your, um, you know, what is it? Kings of War swarms. Swarms and things yeah. like that, you can print them out. Yeah. And they go great on all your regiment bases to add a yeah. bit of character. You can stick it next to your character models. Exactly. I made a nice big Varangar army recently and I, I printed lots of snow foxes. So all of my regiments have snow foxes walking through the clansmen. And you know regiments of the swarms, they just look ace. Okay, very colourful stuff. I like that. That's very cool. Yeah. Okay, so pets. Who doesn't like a pet? Exactly. What a what a bombshell to finish on. So uh, if you want now, I think you can go back and buy month one. Yeah, that's already on there. People have been buying up month one where they've missed Great. it. So Join sorry, mistress, but thanks for joining us now. Yeah. Um, we're now going to be month. Three is coming. I it guess is. month two is going to be retrospectively available in a few more weeks. Yeah, I, I think normally it's towards the end of a month we'll let you buy missing okay. months. So months. Okay. soon you'll be able to buy month two separately. Please keep spreading the word. Help people to come and join us here at Mantic. You're all welcome. We like to get new people playing our wonderful games. Yeah. Thank you to Clyde for another Thanks jam right. packed full welcome pack and 3D Hopefully, month. Yeah. There we are. Thanks, everybody. I hope you're excited to speak to you soon.